running backward during a game is one of the hardest things to master. If you do it the wrong way, you can actually injure yourself. I'll be giving you some tips on how to run forward and backward on the badminton court. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and welcome to Badminton ABCs where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. If you want to be the best player that you can be, do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Badminton is such a fast game that it is hard to get to the exact spot to hit your shots. It is even more difficult to move backwards as quickly as possible. So today, I'm going to teach you how to run forward and backward efficiently so that you don't hurt yourself during the game. This next video is about running forward and back. Now, running forward is just basically running. You do it going forward. Okay, just run forward, put up your racket, swing. Hop back, move sideways, hop back. When you get to the baseline, again, swing. Run forward, hit, hop back, turn. Okay, I'd like to emphasize on a few things. From the back area, when you swing, make sure you swing it correctly. Like in our previous lessons of one, two, three, swing it close to your face, swing it as high as you can, get it at 11 o'clock, swing strong forward. Run. Steps are not too big and not too small. Okay, just run comfortably. When you get to the front, put out your foot, same and, and pointing to where your racket is. So hit and notice that when I hit my shots in front, I try to get it high. Hop back before you turn. After you hop back, this is where you linger a few seconds. Why? You hop back a bit in case like in the game, the shuttle is in front, you're ready to move forward once again. So hit, hop back, wait, turn, skip, skip, get to the back, swing forward. Okay, again, run, hit, hop back, turn, swing, run forward, hit. Notice that my racket in my arm hardly stays down. Okay, so after I swing from the back, when I move forward, my racket is already ready to slowly go up and take the shot. After, when I move back, my racket is still up, sideways, sideways, swing. As soon as I swing down, I move back up again, run forward. Okay, hit. Now, again, I'm emphasizing on pointing your foot where your racket is. So if the shot is slightly to the right, then point your foot slightly to the right with your racket ready to hit it. Hop back, dominant leg stays in front. So if you're left-handed, left leg is the one that's in front. So again, hit, hop back, turn, skip, 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 swing. Now normally, um, a person with the same height as me, which is 5'2 or up, normally that would only take 3 steps to get to the back. If you're so used to the drill already, you don't even think of how many steps. You just know you're already at the back. If you see those professional players, they don't even have to look. When they get to, us, to the back, they know if it's in or out. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're targeting. When you're so used to the footwork, you know if the shuttle is already going out. Okay, so again, let's do the drill 10 times. From the back, you start by swinging. Swing, keep your racket up. Hit, hop back, turn, side. Swing, run forward, hit, hop back, turn. Swing, run forward, hit, hop back, turn. Keep your racket up all the time. Swing, run forward, hit, hop back, turn. Look at my face. I'm always facing my opponent. I never move back looking at the back. No, 
moving back, you should be able to see where you are based on the sidelines. Okay? So two more. Let's do two more from the back. Swing. Front forward hit. Hop back. Turn. One more time. Swing. Hit. Hop back. Turn. Is moving backwards on the badminton court easy for you? Write yes or no on the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.